Hi people, today I want to show you how to edit an image like this so that um, if you have, when I scroll through, I like this image, but I've got little dots, I guess there's like pieces of dust that were on the, um, the cloth I was using and down here in the corner, I'm not crazy about that little spot right there. So how do you clean those up, right? Because you can't crop these out and they're so small and so insignificant, but I want to show you a little trick here to uh, fix this problem and it's called the um, healing brush tool. So how do you get this to come up? Well, first of all, I'm gonna close up my edits so that's all gone. Zoom in so I can see those areas. And the way this works is if you click on the tool, you have, as you can see at the top, it says method, heal, and there's an option to clone or to heal. Um, cloning is kind of like when you're making a copy of something and that's a different video, I'll show you that as well, but for now, just make sure it says heal. Um, you can change the size of the brush tab just to show you what it looks like um, so you know how big it is. And I'm looking at this tiny little speck of dust I have here, and I don't need like a huge, huge brush for that. So you wanna try to choose the smallest possible brush necessary. That probably was pretty good. Feather, just to show you what this looks like. The more it's feathered, the more it's gonna kind of spread out. And if I scroll this way, you can see it gets kind of a harsher edge. So I think I'm going to have feather at 100%. Let's see what that looks like. Opacity is like how much of the original image you can see. So it sort of blends it in. And I generally go for 100% opacity when I use this, if I'm trying to cover something up. Okay, so how does this work? Okay, so I have the healing brush selected. I've already chosen my size, my feather, my opacity. I click on the area I want, and you're going to notice right away this disappeared. So there's a little circle right here that is the point that's going to be edited or healed and this over here is where it's grabbing the information that's kind of being painted over so I can move this circle around and grab from something else and the general rule of thumb is that whatever you grab you want it to be a similar looking value so you know if I zoom in I'm, I'm not going to grab from like the shell or an area that's not the same level of darkness so I'm trying to find something that's as close as possible to the original when I hit done, you can see that it does a pretty good job of basically erasing or hiding that. So again, back up here, same deal, pretty easy. Click on the healing brush tool, click here. And I think that brush is a little bit too big, quite frankly. So I'm gonna come in and make this smaller. See, I can get away with a much smaller brush here. Then again, that's the rule of thumb. And I think I'll move this a little bit so I know it's over the right spot. And then I can kind of move this around. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we are. And just move this around and it's like you can't even see it anymore. And then the final one down here, obviously I'm gonna to need to get a larger brush for that. So, um, let me click down here so I can define like a source point. I'll drag this out and then I'm gonna make this bigger. And let's see what that does. And it's not quite there yet. So let me move this a little further away because I think I can get away with that. And look at that. Um, so if I hit done and zoom out, look, they're gone. And now like, like it's so funny because when I do this, I start seeing other little parts around the image that I that bother me a little bit. So again, just gonna spend some time cleaning those up and I'm much happier with this. Um, so I'm going to go to my versions, right? And say create version. And I already done this before, but I'll call this heal too, because I've, I've did this before and I'll say apply. And I wanna show you the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Look at the difference. All right. That's it.